Throughout this investigation, police have released the body camera video, 911 audio, as well as other recordings just to give us insight into what may have happened that morning. Well, tonight we're taking a look into that full report for the first time. Included in the report was video of the dispatch center at the time of the call. Fort Smith police tells us this clip here is the moment Renault, who's in the bottom right of your screen there, learned of Stephen's death. At 4.58 a.m., she appears to bang her fist on the phone, then goes back to talking to someone on that line. When Renault hangs up the phone at 5 a.m., she puts her head in her hands and appears to start crying, visibly upset. The internal review says when dealing with someone during a critical incident, particularly when the person is in hysterics, it is often necessary to take a stern or commanding tone. However, the review also says several of the statements made by Renault certainly pass beyond the need to take control of the conversation. When Renault told Stevens to shut up and chastised her for driving into floodwaters, the review says that violated the city's human resources policies in dealing with the public. But the review says even if Renault had been found to have violated city policy, it would not merit discipline as strict as termination. The morning Renault had taken that call with Debbie Stevens was already her last shift. She had put in her notice prior to that call. Reporting live in Fort Smith tonight, I'm Jamie Weiss, 4029 News.